It began as a regular walk for Brian Rose Mahal across his field in August when something suddenly caught his eye. I saw on top of a, of a badger mound what looked like a rock. But then he took a closer look. And uh, I recognized it right away as a human skull and uh, it took me aback. Which is why Rose Mahal decided to call the police to his farm. So then the RCMP came, they set up yellow crime scene tape, and officers sat here for two days until the medical examiner determined these bones were old, very old. Archaeologists soon arrived. Experts determined that the remains were from the early 1800s before Europeans settled in the area. This was probably a young girl, probably of some status. We're thinking it's possible that she may have died uh, in transit between two locations, but it's all at this point, very much a mystery. And the remains weren't the only thing unearthed. There, there's about 3,000 beads. Buried alongside this young woman, beads and other jewelry. So we found the coiled rings actually still on her fingers. Somebody cared a lot about her, and somebody, you know, provided her with a jacket that had brass buttons. You would have had to work hard to, to, um, to trade for that kind of material. Once the remains were photographed and studied, a coffin was built. The special reburial was held in October. At the ceremony, there were First Nation elders, the RCMP, and Rose Mahal. I was very honored to, to witness the ceremony. and I felt like I was entering a world that uh, was really inaccessible to, to, to most of us. Um, a world of, of mystery, of great reverence. The remains are now reburied back on Rose Mahal's farm, not far from where he first found them. But, uh, you know, this person who, who walked this land uh, that is so dear to me uh, and was resting here uh, deserves the respect and the honour um, that, uh, that anybody would. He visits the marked grave site frequently to reflect on the mystery of who this was and what might have happened to her all those years ago. Briar Stewart, CBC News, near Viking, Alberta.